March 29th was a significant date in our country's history. At the stroke of midnight, same-sex marriages were enshrined in law. So congratulations, you may kiss the groom. I'm planning my own wedding and looking for a dress. But it won't be a normal wedding. This is a tale of girl meets girl with a twist. I'm not a lesbian, but I'm going undercover to expose the sham wedding fixers and brides willing to fake gay and marry anyone for cash. Well, you are gay or not gay? Can she? No. no. Okay. You say I'm um, gay. <laughs> yes. No more question for you. Then finish. Ready? Okay. People have been prosecuted and convicted of organising uh, sham marriages who have made millions. Yeah, well, I just wanted to have a chat with you about the marriages you've been arranging illegally. Our investigation begins with a tip-off from a contact who needs to keep his identity hidden. This gang specialises in arranging sham marriages which are same-sex or gay. The gang are from Romania and we've arranged a meeting with them. My cover is, I'm an illegal immigrant seeking a sham marriage so I can remain in the UK. Uh, you're Ruby from Mumbai. Our contact will work closely with me, posing as my uncle. Hello, brother. Uh, very sorry. This is Peter? Yeah. Ruby? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Our first meeting with Peter and Ricardo, the men suspected of supplying bogus lesbian brides across London. Busy, huh? Yeah, be, be busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We head to a local pub where conversation quickly turns to business. We are here to help each other. You see, we'll try to help you. You help someone who needs money, and this is the problem. And, like, how much will it cost for marriage? Yeah, everything costs 10,000. 10? Yeah. And you done this before, like no? Yeah, I've done. Me, yeah, I'm. See? I'm very calm. I'm done. When I say I say yes, this is me. No one time, no two times, a lot of times. He assures us that breaking the law by fixing sham gay marriages is easy. She just a little bit scared of police and problem and you know immigration. That's all. Um, after when you say yes, finish, you see stamp, <sighs> you can drink vodka, whiskey, too much. The people taking part in this citizenship ceremony have come here the legal way. They've passed strict vetting rules and tests before winning the right to remain in this country. But the numbers of people who are dodging immigration control through sham marriages is rapidly rising. Here in Brent, the Home Office stop marriages on a weekly basis. In many boroughs in London, the, the thought is that up to 20 to 30 percent of marriages are actually for the avoidance of immigration control. That statistic only accounts for straight fake weddings. Peter and Ricardo trade in something the authorities have yet to get to grips with, sham gay marriages. Another meeting has been arranged. Today, I meet my potential bride. Okay, he's the girl. Yeah. Hi, hi. Hello. Ruby. Flori. Nice to yeah. meet you. And you. And you. Flori. Flori. Nice to meet you. We need to be sure Flori is in on the scam, that she's not here under duress or unwittingly. So we question her. So you are happy for this? Yes, I'm happy. To do this gay marriage? Yeah. But I'm not gay or anything. So this is obviously enough for... You understand, it's for yes, papers. Yes, yes. Yeah. And you are no gay? No gay. Okay. To prove she's fully up for this and she has the right credentials to ensure my UK residency, Flory produces her passport. Can I help? It's OK, yeah. Because it has to be EEC for this. Flory is Romania. Is Romania. The deal is agreed. Flory and I will now need to fabricate a convincing history together to pull off our fake wedding. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, it's very good. It's very good. Registrars now have more powers than ever, with the authority to query and report ceremonies they don't believe to be genuine. 
But when it comes to gay weddings, shams can be harder to detect. I think it's fair to say that registrars are probably very well experienced in looking for the signs where opposite sex couples are, are concerned. I think it's probably more difficult to spot signs uh, if you have a same-sex couple, whether it be male or female. It's difficult to detect. I would have thought that most registrars would have some concerns that, that they're performing ceremonies that aren't actually quite real. The fact that registrars may struggle to detect sham gay couples is used as a selling point by our wedding fixers. It's very simple. You say, I'm um, gay. <laughs> well, yes. No more question for you, then finish. They will not ask. <sighs> they won't know. When you say, you close one. Okay, and I'll uh, your stamp to send me. Uh, congratulations, yeah, you kiss and uh, Is it an easy process, I don't think? Straight, straightforward process. <laughs> They're probably justified in their belief that it may be easier to get away with it if it's a same-sex couple. We're just heading on our way to Hyde Park to meet my potential bride. What's planned is that we're going to have our fake photo shoot and we're going to take these pictures to the registrar as part of our history of relationship. We've arranged for our own photographer, who is actually another undercover reporter. When we arrive, though, there is a surprise. My bride has been switched. When I first saw you, I thought she's dyed her hair blonde, so you are completely different. Yeah, I'm completely different. <laughs> Peter tells us that my previous bride is now involved in another sham wedding, so Alexandra has come along in her place. I'm 22 years old. How long have you been in, in England? Around five years and a half. Five. My family is back home. Uh, in Romania. Over a drink, Alexander tries to put us at ease by admitting to having helped organise half a dozen previous sham weddings. In our wedding though, she will take centre frame as the bride. She talks me through how we will deceive immigration officers. Outside, our photo shoot gets underway. We're gonna have like hold hands, hold each other. Uh, yeah, we have to. Yeah. So. Alexandra is certainly pulling out all the stops, but Peter assures us that if she's not to our liking, he has a selection of other potential fake gay brides and grooms. You have more g uh, girls yeah. for marriage, for like this guy? Yeah. You have boys? Boys, no problem. In fact, for those who want to gain UK citizenship illegally, Peter offers a complete package. Passport, yeah. 700 pounds. Yeah. Is the, uh, the ID, 500 pounds. 500 pounds. It's very good. The actions of our wedding fixers suggest government claims to be getting tough on illegal immigration may not be working. So we showed our evidence to the Minister for Immigration and Security. From the images that you've shown me, I would want them to be followed up by our immigration enforcement teams. But in terms of our focus on sham marriages, that is across the board, whether it is same sex or not. We're strengthening the law this year to enable registrars to share information more readily, to better identify sham marriage where it may be occurring. Every day we meet, we smile, yeah? Yeah. Our wedding fixers are expecting Alexandra and I to head to the registry office tomorrow, but I won't be going. Instead, I have a surprise for them, a camera crew. I just wanted to have a chat with you about the marriages you've been arranging illegally. What? I've got you on camera several times and made you illegal marriage. It's a good opportunity to put your side across. They're unwilling to talk now, but once we hand all our evidence over to the police, they could each face a prison sentence of up to 14 years.